Although Fall Night Chapter 4 Season 2 just started, they're already teasing the arrival of Titans and a huge live event involving the Cyber Dragon that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Real quick, if you think Fortnite should grant you all 100 levels, the next time you log on, Peely says you need to drop a like in 3, 2, 1. Hey, congratulations, enjoy your tier 100 Mitsuki skin. Seriously though guys, despite this being the first live event of Chapter 4, setting the foundation of the storyline going forward, with Epic Games already working or scheduling on all the updates up to 24.50 being the last downtime update, it looks like the same can be said for this live event being one of the biggest or best we've ever seen. Before we get into that, look how insanely close we are to 2.53 million subscribers. It would put a giant smile on my face if you do hit the button now and turn on all notifications. After all, it only benefits you as we do give different subscribers every single day. So once you've subscribed, comment your Epic Games ID down below and what you'd like from the item shop and boom, you could be featured in the next video. Me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug want to thank you for supporting code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. Literally one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter, so enter it if you haven't already. But with that said, and despite this Cyber Dragon and not just being decoration in the sky, make sure, of course, you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm not, I'm sitting on my don't back. Go anywhere. Okay, so first of all, despite, of course, us being able to see this Japanese-themed POI of Mega City in the background, if you hadn't seen yesterday's video, here is the change between Chapter 4 Season 1 and Chapter 4 Season 2, where literally some more terrain got added onto the island instead of the already-made terrain of the island being changed. I feel like we just got to let Epic Games cook and see what they come up with this season and how many more areas they add to future parts of the island throughout this chapter. Regardless, we know it's going to be very interesting and especially the live event which we're about to get onto as from comparing these new map changes added to the chapter 4 island to well Tokyo Japan as you can see they're very similar in terms of their resemblances I could watch these air crayons draw around all day but we need to go over to the battle pass now and obviously discuss why Eren Yeager being introduced could contribute toward the live events he's upcoming in 33 days which happens to land at the time of me recording on this particular day on screen right now he will then be unlockable the skin alongside everything else we can see on here more cosmetics on this particular first page anyways or only page that we now currently know of, but the first foreshadow of Titan's upcoming of course is the fact that this is the Titan Strike Harvesting Tool, not only mentioning them physically right here in writing, but also this is the fist of Eren once he's inherited the Warhammer Titan to harden in his fists. Although we're waiting for the Mythic ODM game shown in the trailer and actually in this promo image, speaking of this image in itself, if we compare it to one of the most notable artworks of Attack on Titan, as you can see it directly correlates with the Cyber Dragon reaching over this building and Eren looking up at it, to him, Eren looking up in Attack on Titan to what we know as the Colossal Titan. And from looking at Spawn Island now, I honestly don't know how Titans would fit on this island. Maybe some of them, like the Armored Titan, would make sense. However, but the Colossal Titan, which correlates to this dragon right here at Mega City, can't really see considering how big it is compared to the other Titans it fitting on even just overall this thing floating in space. Which we then have this island on that's now been extended now with all of this Japanese themed area. Fun fact about Mega City as we land down here, apparently this is the POI with literally the most most amount of chest spawns ever in Fortnite, 102 in total according to this data miner. Not gonna lie, I thought that was pretty cool. Do you miss the Cyber Dragon? Oh, we missed it. Basically, the Cyber Dragon right there, I'll get a replay shot of it, as you can see when the Storm Circle kind of like was announced or whatever, it blew out this neon kind of dragon breath. This isn't to do with a live event, by the way, but just a cool feature. However, where is all this going on? Nobody is here with me at the Mega City. Get on our futuristic bike. I can see someone on the compass. And here they are. I have found you. Death from above me. Mr. Oh my god, I've fallen down. We'll take the green version as we only have the grey. Thank you. Mr. PlayStation Celebration Pack Skin, you are disappearing soon and being replaced with this one. Oh, and he dropped a katana. Yeah, real quick for those that don't know, I might as well mention it now. This one that's actually released at the start of Chapter 4 is leaving soon, so now is your last chance to get this free skin. It's being replaced with all the rewards you can see on screen right now. This sticker, harvesting tool, you name it, all in the same colour scheme. At the same time, though, we're going to be getting another free skin, which is actually this off the Fortnite surveys. Just a cool little fact for you guys right there, another free skin for another celebration pack. Going back to our live event talk, however, as we scan this POI for enemies, let me get back over toward the Mega City. Aha! Oh my god, Rare Twitch Prime skin almost got me. What's interesting about a live event happening this season is that in season 2 of each chapter, I mentioned it maybe briefly beforehand, but we always get the first live event of a chapter being one of the biggest and best. This all started since chapter 2, season 2, the device live event being the first of chapter 2, and then chapter 3, season 2, we got Collision. If you don't Count Fracture actually as the ending chapter event. We only got one live event actually ending off a season going into another of the same chapter in chapter 3. Hey, it's Lil Whip. I thought you got crushed in the trailer, my friend. Let's start you off on vanilla and monitor for adverse side effects. How about we... Oh. 
thank you. Can't eat too much ice cream, little whip. Otherwise, I'll be too fat to go like this in the sky with a katana. It's so strange now, though. The games feel a lot longer with this bit of terrain added to the island in the bottom right. The reason for this is because on top of that, there's new storm circle amounts, meaning like every single game you play, there was typically like, I believe, nine storm circles before in Chapter 4 Season 1 and prior. However, as you can see on screen right now, there's apparently a total of 12. These all being examples of what basically we go through in a game which means more puffs for our boy at the mega city whoa don't take all my shields i'm gonna need that as for what's happening with this mega city though considering it correlates largely to chapter one season nine's neo theme obviously being like a neo japanese theme right now i just keep finding better rarity heavy snipers oh that was a good spot as you can see echo stated on screen a very good theory about how these seasons of this chapter correlate going kind of in opposite order to chapter one hence why now we have this neo theme in the second season and of course in season nine of chapter one the second to last season we got it then at tilt it he also states we went from a rift related season to a futuristic one so could the next season theme be jungle slash tropical with also mentioning even more interestingly what seems to be an old volcano is also near the mega city which also we saw in the season prior to season 9 of chapter 1 if it's going in reverse what we're going into next in fortnite chapter 4 season 3 is this location right here an inactive volcano and if so i don't know are we going to see another volcanic eruption event v2 and it seems the circle is bringing us all the way back to the mega city with us hopefully catching a glimpse of this guy you know shooting out the dragon breath are you gonna do it mate don't forget in chapter one season nine that live event we had a giant fight between two giant things on the island and i'm just saying considering we believe this to be one of them as it's indestructible right now literally you can't even shoot any part off it as a matter of fact the top of that building overall where the body of it or like behind of it seems to go into is indestructible are we simply waiting on something else giant to be revealed to be fighting this perhaps in a live event this season similar to the final showdown where it was shooting me Pull a Peely. Of course, as Epic devs have already confirmed, despite us seeing the ODM gear being used from Attack on Titan or the Waste Grapplers in the Chapter 4 Season 2 trailers. Oh, look, it did it. We caught the tail end of it. Does it as soon as the circle's moving in, hence why, yeah, it started moving right now. What is it with the Peely skins today, guys? Like, I know I'm not wearing banana. I'll go back to that maybe next video. Drop a like if you want to see me. Oh, sorry, Gingy. Drop a like if you want to see the return of the 6 foot 10 banana, which has now been confirmed thanks to this emote. Once again, everybody on the edge. Oh, my God, my aim. Everybody on the edge of the the circle not that it matters too much now like you about to well you're gonna die anywhere but of course you take less damage per circle considering there's more oh that was a good look look at that as data miners have already confirmed as well we're going to be getting a secret page two of erin cosmetics actually involving well another emote despite the regime salute right now that we can see with him transforming into his attack titan style kind of like how we've had other skins with built-in emotes completely transforming the skin with also a reference to titans actually on his rewards again with the titan fist harvesting tool being literally the fist of erin's titan form oh Here's Mr. High Card. Wow, that did a lot of damage to him. I wish his NPC friends would just stop once you've eliminated him, being like, oh, let's not challenge this guy. But nope, they will still try. Oh my god, this one's nearly got me. I don't think so. Thank you for the mythic, my friend. My god, I need to med up real quick. How cool would that be, though, to see, like, a live event similar to the final showdown with a Titan fighting, well, this thing that's gonna actually, you know, get out of this structure? Once Eren's Titan form does come to the game on the actual page two of cosmetics that they're gonna be introducing, but haven't even got a page two to preview, like, the question mark marks what we got last season for Geralt yet does this mean we're going to be getting other titan skins like you know we have in call of duty the armored titan are we going to be getting them as skins in the item shop and their human forms oh that was a good shot go pull out the shotgun get beamed Oh, finally. What's even more interesting is Fire Monkey randomly tweeted out earlier to do with Fortnite events or live events potentially happening this season. Fortnite event servers and Fortnite flame servers, whatever this means. I don't know, really. I've never really heard of that code name before. They got updated with a recent patch. I believe it was 24.02. But yeah, do with that what you will. Is this confirming already this early on? We're definitely going to be seeing a live event if it wasn't already too obvious by the correlation to the prior chapters. Where did you come from? <laughs> and Victory Royale. Drop a like if you're excited to see what happens with this thing at the Mega city in the live event subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future uploads but speaking of other videos click this one on screen i picked out for you right now but most importantly hopefully i can catch you in the very next one i do publish on the channel